So here in admins, we are going to implement inheritance. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it inheritance. I'm going to call my main class main hit finish. Okay? So now we have the main class and the main method. So according to our diagram, we need five classes. Person, teacher, student, dean, and class A. Well, let's do that. In NetBeans, you just have to right-click your package, new Java class. And then we simply give it a name. The first one is person. Okay. Same process, right-click the package, new Java class, teacher. Same process, right-click new Java class, student and finally class a now first let's define the attributes and methods in the person class so in the diagram the data type is not specified we can just give them a string data type Okay, so the next thing to do is to extend to the person class. So let's first go to the teacher class. To extend to another class, you simply use the keyword extends and then the name of the parent class, which is person. Now teacher will inherit everything that the person class have. To test this, let's go to the main class and instantiate teacher. I'm going to say teacher. Okay. Let's see if we can access the attributes and methods of the person class from this object. T. Now when I type that, it should suggest all the attributes and methods available for this object. So as you can see, we have the address, name, education, contact number. Uh, it also has this method and role and the shift method. So this means that the inheritance is successful. If I go back to the teacher class and remove the extend keyword and go back to the main method if we try to do the same thing object name dot it's no longer giving us the attributes and methods from the person class okay because we disconnected the relationship between teacher and person so let's bring that back teacher extends person now in main we can access those attributes and methods again let's do the same for a student class student extends person so i forgot to create the dean class i just have to create that dean we simply extend the person now class a is going to extend to teacher so let's do that class a extends teacher so in the main method let's try to instantiate class a Let's see if we can access the attributes and methods from the superclass. And we can. When we go to either of the child classes, like for example teacher, we don't have any definition yet, but the teacher class already has attributes and methods because it inherited them from the person class. So now we can focus on what's important to the teacher class, which are the attribute college and the method teach. Our student class can focus on course and section attribute. And our dean can focus on designation, office, hire, and approve. So this is basically the implementation of inheritance in Java. It's very simple. You just have to use the keyword extends and then the class name to where you want to inherit your class from.